Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Sean Moss with Down Payment Resource. We also have several members of our team in the background today. So we want to keep this interactive, share your stories about working with DPA buyers, uh, ask any questions, use the, uh, if you don't mind, use the Zoom Q&A feature, and we will monitor that for questions. So with that, uh, today we want to talk about growing your first-time homebuyer business, and in particular, increasing leads, purchase leads with Down Payment Connect. Some of you already have or use Down Payment Connect, whether you subscribe to it or if you're a member of one of our MLS partners, which we'll show you a list of here shortly, uh, you already have Down Payment Connect for free. So we want to talk today about using Down Payment Connect to grow your first time homebuyer business, to increase leads, and to educate more buyers about not just down payment requirements, because there are some misperceptions lingering there among aspiring home buyers, but also about down payment assistance programs as a solution to the biggest obstacle that most buyers face today, which is coming up with a sufficient down payment. We also want to make sure they understand what's actually required. We'll show you a survey we've done that kind of speaks to that misperception. Now, we'll talk a little bit about the state of down payment assistance programs to get started here, just so everyone's aware of what's going on with down payment assistance. Then we'll look at the first time home buyer market opportunity and educating buyers about down payment requirements and solutions. And then the crux of the webinar today and what we want you to take away is enhancing your marketing, expanding your reach and growing purchase leads using Down Payment Connect. And we're gonna show you how your peers across the country are using Down Payment Connect in successful and creative and impactful ways. So <clears throat> let's get started. A little bit about us. We are a national database and a matching engine of all of the over 2,200 home ownership programs across the country. I'll show you how we break that down, uh, home ownership programs that is, in a moment. Our technology helps you connect home buyers to down payment help. To do that, we integrate into MLSs and their property listing data. You'll see who our MLS partners are. Part of that partnership with, with our MLSs uh, is offering Down Payment Connect to all members for free. We also have a subscription version of Down Payment Connect for both real estate agents and loan officers. So the crux again today is talking about Down Payment Connect to reach more aspiring home buyers, educate them about down payment requirements and solutions, and ultimately to help you connect home buyers to the down payment help that they need. Now, when we say home ownership programs, there are, as we mentioned a moment ago, over 2,200 home ownership programs across the country. 73% of them are some form of down payment and closing cost assistance or DPAs or DAPs, you might hear them called. So most of the programs that we're talking about are in fact down payment assistance. Those can be grants, they can be repayable second mortgages, meaning they have an interest rate or not, maybe 0% interest and they are repaid monthly. But as you can see on the left side here, there are many different kinds of down payment assistance programs. Some of them offer deferred payments, meaning you don't make a, a monthly payment on the down payment assistance loan for some period of time or perhaps for the life of the first mortgage until basically you refinance or you move out of the property. It's not your owner occupied residence or you sell the house. However, some down payment assistance programs, 43% of them are forgivable loans, meaning over time or at some period in the future, the down payment assistance becomes forgivable, maybe in full, maybe in part, maybe incrementally over time. And then 38% of down payment of all programs are both deferred and forgivable down payment assistance programs. So uh, that plus you have gifts, which are true, true gift or grant at closing. Uh, and then some repayable seconds. Those are all the DPAs, but we also track and monitor all of the affordable first mortgage loans, which typically come from your state housing finance agency, or in some markets, there's a local housing finance agency. And we also track all of the mortgage credit certificates, which are tax credits. Now we have a separate webinar that breaks down those three most common types of homebuyer programs. So we won't get into a, a, any further breakdown, 
And then we also track and monitor some other, I would say kind of outlier or less common uh, down payment assistance programs. So housing choice vouchers, individual development accounts or matched savings programs, employer assistance programs and so forth. So that's your breakdown of home buyer assistance. We do want to make sure everyone knows there is not a market or county or city in the country that is not covered by some form of down payment assistance. Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> so uh, because every state has a state housing finance agency or in some states, multiple state agencies, their programs are offered statewide. And then you layer in all of the county and city and nonprofit and other types of home ownership assistance available across the country. And not only is there not a market that doesn't have some form of help, uh, there are markets that have dozens of programs available. So uh, basically the point here is if you thought that your market was too rural, too high cost or whatever for down payment help, not the case. Many of these programs, are, in fact, most programs essentially uh, are driven by their market's median incomes and median purchase prices in order for these DPA programs to derive purchase price limits and income limits that meet the needs of their market. So uh, there's, there's down payment help everywhere. And as far as the state of down payment assistance to kind of wrap that up, DPA volume, as you probably have heard from our webinars or elsewhere, uh, was at record levels in 2020 and in 2021. That has declined a little bit in 2022 as home prices continue to appreciate. Now we have interest rate volatility. There are some other factors uh, impeding the ability for home buyers to purchase homes and also to access down payment assistance. However, all of these down payment assistance providers continue to aggressively try to enhance their programs to offer higher income limits, more assistance, higher purchase price limits, more flexibility to keep up with rising prices and, and our sort of market volatility. To that point, a lot of your state housing finance agencies are having to deal with the, the volatility and interest rates in terms of pricing and their ability to offer certain options within a down payment assistance program. But the point is the programs are still there and those that are impacted by interest rates, for example, they're doing everything they can, those program providers, to keep the programs out there, to price them uh, competitively with the market, and using a lot of bond funding to try to offset interest rates and offer below market rates. So again, we cover a lot of this in other webinars, but uh, we are seeing an influx of down payment assistance programs over the last three quarters running now. We've seen a net increase in available programs uh, across the country. So we're seeing new state and local programs continue to launch in markets nationwide. And that's a good trend. It means there's more and more opportunity out there for buyers to take advantage of and for you to leverage to assist more aspiring home buyers. Over 84% of all home ownership programs are currently funded and active today. That is a normal number. It's been about 84% for several quarters at least and plus or minus a few percent for a very long time. What that means is not every program has money all the time, right? Your states do, they don't run out of money, but the cities, the counties, the nonprofits, some of their programs are seasonal, their funding is seasonal. We do track and monitor that for you along with all the program guidelines. So uh, while not every program is funded at any one time, about 84% of them are currently funded and active and that's a normal number. All of this is to say down payment assistance is still available. These programs are still out there. They are absolutely not going away. And in fact, as we just mentioned, we're seeing a net increase in the number and volume of down payment assistance programs for several quarters running now. So that's the state of down payment assistance. That's what's going on with DPAs. Now let's think for a moment about what's going on with home buyers. And then we're gonna talk about Down Payment Connect and how to address these concerns and misperceptions. So we know that there, we know that every generation, you know, for a long time it was millennials, now we're talking about the next generation. We know that there are home ownership aspirations. We also know that many are trying to keep up with inflation, appreciation and so forth while trying to save for a new home 
but essentially watching the goalpost keep moving, right? I save, I save, I save, prices go up, prices go up, interest rates go up, and so forth. And many of them doubt that they qualify for a mortgage because they don't think they have enough money saved for a down payment. Never mind interest rates and student loan debt and so forth, right? So we're, we're here to address the down payment misperceptions and obstacles. So we know that first time home buyers need help navigating the home buying process. That's not new news. We know they need help getting pre-approved for a home loan. We also know that as has always been the case, especially for first time home buyers, they need help comparing and understanding mortgage options. And if they're using down payment assistance, we also know that they probably have to complete a home buyer education class, which we think is great because it creates a better client for you and a better long-term homeowner for them. However, what we need to combat are misperceptions about down payment requirements that are keeping way too many aspiring home buyers off the, the, off the playing field, basically, sitting on the bench, sidelining themselves because they don't know that you can get into a home for 3% down, for 3.5% down FHA, 5% conventional, right? And then, of course, we have an interesting, unique market, still limited inventory. Um, sellers still have some control. We're seeing some change there. But nonetheless, that's the buyer. That's the market the buyer is looking at now. And for first time home buyers, they have some misperceptions. For example, we, we were part of a study with the Urban Institute. And now this was in 2018, but we believe this is still definitely relevant. It was called Barriers to Accessing Home Ownership. And we had, we surveyed potential home buyers as part of this study, or the Urban Institute did rather, and asked millennial renters at the time uh, a few questions. And we wanna pull out their responses because it's, it's uh, gives some glowing insight into some of the misperceptions that fester among potential home buyers. So when asked what their biggest barrier to home ownership was, 68% of those renters said it was the down payment. Not a surprise, right? But uh, so we couple that with how, when, when asked how much they thought they needed as a down payment, 65% of those renters thought they needed 15% or more, 15 or 20% or more as a down payment. So obviously they're not aware of FHA, three and a half percent down, conventional, 3% or 5% down, qualified veterans, 0% down. Uh, those buying a qualified rural property, USDA loan, 0% down, right? So that leads to the third question and the, the response to that among these potential home buyers, when asked how familiar they were with low down payment programs, more than three quarters of them had little or no familiarity with these programs. So that tells us that potential home buyers struggle with the down payment. They see that as their biggest barrier. They think they need 15 or 20% down, clearly they don't. And they, they are not familiar with FHA, conventional loans, BA, you know, they, they obviously aren't because they think they need 20% down. So, and then of course, they're clearly not familiar with down payment assistance programs. How are they gonna find out? Through you. So today we're gonna hop on the DPA bandwagon. We know that home buyers need help, they need education, they need somebody to walk them through the process and expose to them the solutions that are out there. We also know real estate agents need loan officers who, who offer down payment assistance programs. We'll probably see it in the chat. Uh, we, it's the most common question we get from real estate agents. How can I find a loan officer who offers down payment assistance in my market, knows them well, does them well, closes on time, and wants my business? To that point, we also know that loan officers, the phone's not ringing off the hook anymore with refinances, you need purchase applications. So for those of you loan officers who are on the call today, this is for you too. So let's talk about connecting buyers with down payment assistance. If you are a member of one of these MLSs, we are partnered with your MLS. So I'm gonna leave this on the screen for a moment, check the screen, see if your MLS is listed, if you're a real estate agent. And if so, you already have Down Payment Connect for free. It's, you can go to your MLS dashboard, click the Down Payment Resource button, and your Down Payment Connect, <clears throat> your down payment Connect URL is waiting for you there. We'll talk about what Down Payment Connect is here in just a moment, but do not pay for Down Payment Connect if your MLS is listed here. If you don't see your MLS, 
then we have a subscription version. We'll get to that in just a moment. If you're a member of one of these MLSs, you can go, this is just one example. I realize you, you all, you know, you might be on Matrix, Paragon, Flex, whatever your MLS is, but basically go to your MLS dashboard, find the down payment resource link. I've given you a couple of examples here of what that might look like. And when you click that, it takes you to your down payment resource dashboard. Waiting for you there is your free down payment connect link. No upsell, it's free. Uh, it's part of our partnership with your MLS. That also comes with marketing resources, which I'll show you here shortly, that provide image packages, graphics, customizable flyers, video tutorials, social media training, and more. So if you are not a member of one of those MLSs, here is the URL on our website where you can go subscribe to a monthly subscription. It's $24 a month for an agent, it's $39 a month for a loan officer. You've got some additional features and uh, some compliance features. You can go to downpaymentresource.com slash DPC and subscribe to Down Payment Connect to start gener generating leads for yourself in social media marketing, your website, email marketing, and so forth. The rest of this webinar in just a moment is going to be showing you how your peers around the country are doing exactly that promoting DPAs in their marketing, educating more buyers, connecting with them, and starting that home ownership conversation. So what does Down Payment Connect provide? Everybody, whether you're a real estate agent or a loan officer, gets a personalized landing page where consumers can search for down payment assistance. There's no limit to the traffic or the leads you can get. It is a lead generation tool. You are not buying leads from us. We're not lead sellers. We, we offer Down Payment Connect so that you can uh, engage with the buyer, give them the opportunity and the path to down payment solutions and uh, keep those leads, they're your leads, they don't get sold. Like I said, we're not lead sellers. Uh, we offer Down Payment Connect as a tool for you to implement into your marketing. Loan officers, you also get a directory of all of the programs in your states uh, realtors, you can upgrade to the loan officer version if you wish. Uh, if you're a member of an MLS, you don't need to. You've already got that package for free. Uh, but loan officers, you get a directory of all the programs in your state or states if you're licensed in multiple. Uh, you can subscribe to up to four states if you're using the, the paid version. And you can customize which programs display to borrowers. So loan officers, that means you can you can control which programs you're you're your leads will see based on what you and your company participate in or offer. And then you can, you get a back office search tool to find and compare programs, kind of like a, a scenario tool. So again, all of that is at downpaymentresource.com slash DPC. Please don't subscribe if you are a member of one of those MLS partners. It always happens after this webinar, but again, you have it for free if you're a member of our MLS partners. So basically, you get a personalized landing page that allows consumers to match themselves to down payment assistance programs and connect to you. Now, let's take a look at how your peers around the country, agents and LOs, are using down payment assistance information as well as the down payment connect tool to educate and attract new buyers. So what I'm going to do here is roll through some examples. Uh, we're going to use screenshots first and just kind of you know, show you some examples of creative, simple ways to, to implement down payment assistance or integrate down payment assistance information into your marketing. Some of these are really cool and really creative and took a little more effort, but they're here because they work. They generate traffic, they generate leads, they look good, they're successful. So <clears throat> let's just start with something basic. Add Down Payment Connect to your website, or just add Down Payment Assistance information to your website. Here you can see that Brian in Atlanta has added a little blurb on his homepage under his bio that talks just a little bit in three sentences about Down Payment Assistance with a click here button that opens up Brian's Down Payment Connect page. Anything that the the uh, potential home buyer does from his down payment connect page goes only to him. And then you can see he used one of our graphics on the left 
to offer the same thing. That's just another way that he linked to his down payment connect page. But letting people know that down payment help is out there and that doesn't need to be the sole obstacle to home ownership for you. Here's another example, Susan, also in Atlanta. She added the down payment connect form into an iframe on one of her pages. So um, you can see here that she's rather than, than add a link to another browser tab, essentially, she's just embedded this in an iframe on her page and the down payment connect experience loads on her page. The website visitor to her site never leaves her site. They're just doing the search within that page that she created for the down payment connect form. So another creative example, right? Here's another example by Angela of, of kind of the same thing. Here you can see in her site navigation at the top of the page, down payment assistance. So she put in her site navigation, a down payment assistance option. When the website visitor on her site clicks that, it opens up a page which, which has the down payment connect form loaded there. The consumer again does the search there. They never leave Angela's website. They're just, uh, using the form within a page on her site. So she just iframed the down payment connect uh, link. All right, so let's, uh, let's talk about email for a moment. Here's just one quick example. This is a loan officer in California. He has added, he's got all the standard things you would expect in a loan officer's email signature, contact info, brand, branch address, um, <clears throat> NMLS. And then of course, a link to his site, a link to an application, a doc upload. What he did was add the down payment money is available graphic, which is a link to his down payment connect page so that anyone he emails or as part of any email marketing campaign, uh, that recipient, the email recipient will see and know that not only is down payment help available, but if they click it, Sal can help them find out which programs are available for that particular buyer where they wanna buy a home. So <clears throat> let's, uh, let's look at video for a moment. I'm gonna show you this page live in, in a couple minutes because there's actually a lot more to it than I can capture in a screenshot. But what they've done here, this is a, a real estate team in Richmond, Virginia. They have added a page to their website dedicated to down payment assistance. It starts with the video. They produce the video. We have some options for you as well if you wanna repurpose our own video content. But they produced a great video about down payment assistance and followed that with a lot of educational content about DPA programs, littered with links to Down Payment Connect within that content. And you can see the first graphic here. So you've got the video, you've got a couple paragraphs, then you see a down payment graphic, that's a link to their Down Payment Connect page. And then there's actually more content down that page, which I'll show you live here in a moment. So let's transition here to onboarding. You've got a new client or you've got a new prospect, you've got a new lead. What are the first few things that you do with them? You know, is it, a, is it an email campaign? Do you set them up on a drip campaign? Do you have a checklist? Here's an example of a checklist. This is Raul in Austin, Texas with ReadyFront. Uh, he has a checklist that he offers new buyers. Three-step process. Step one for my new client is I need to find out what you can afford. That needs to include exploring down payment assistance programs so we can make sure cash to close is covered and we figure out how much you can qualify for and that you've got down payment and closing costs taken care of. Step two, get with a loan officer to figure all that out, get the numbers right, get the pre-approval letter. And then step three, let's go find your home within your budget. So the question is, what takeaways, what homework do you offer or do you provide or do you ask of new clients? If you've got a checklist, if you've got a drip campaign, whatever it might be, incorporate dialogue about down payment assistance. And more importantly, give them down payment connect. Give them literally a way, a path to find the help that they need. Now let's look at social media here for a moment. I've got a couple examples. So this is Raul who we just talked about. He also has a drip campaign for new clients. The idea was when he started in real estate out of the military, he was working with veterans who kept asking the same questions over and over. So new clients, same questions. What we like about this is a couple of things. One, he came up with a drip campaign. So, you know, I forget the cadence once a week, twice a week, he would email a question with the answer to the question. So that's good because one, 
aspiring home buyers don't always know what questions to ask. They don't know to ask about down payment assistance. Question six in his 10 part drip campaign, which, which you see on the screen here, when researching home loans, what's the best approach to look for down payment and closing cost assistance? Well, most home buyers don't even know to ask that question, but by posing it and then answering it and providing down payment connect and giving them a way to find those programs, you've addressed an opportunity that they didn't know existed and provided a solution to help them find what's out there for them. So uh, that's a, you know, it's a great, for him, a social media campaign. For you, it could be an email campaign. It could be a blog series. I'll show you an example of a blog in a bit too. But, um, you know, think about the content and the messages that you're sending out in your marketing. And are you addressing down payment misperceptions? Are you correcting those misperceptions so that buyers know they don't need 20% down? You know, it could be zero, but three, three and a half, five percent down. Those are options, right? And then are you letting them know that down payment assistance programs can help toward that goal? Sticking with social media for a moment. This one is one of my favorites. So this is a team in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. A couple of things I want to point out here. One, across the top of the, the, the page here, the kind of banner, they've co-branded this with the broker, the team, and their mortgage partner. That's important. Do you have a mortgage partner that you, you trust and rely on for down payment assistance programs? If not, we're going to talk about how to find one. But brand together, market together. You know, if you're going after the same buyers together, you know, team up and, and co-market. Another thing they've done here, and this is what I really like, a great way to educate and inspire or compel your prospective audience, your, your, your prospects, your social audience, future home buyers, a great way to compel them to dialogue about home ownership is to tell them a story about one of their own peers. What were, what were you able to do for one of their you know, new first time home buyer peers that is gonna inspire them to reach out to you and say, hey, you know, I saw that story as you see here about Jasmine and there's a picture below it, I've cut that out, but the, the team here got permission from their client to post their story and personalize it. They got Jasmine $12,000 in down payment and closing cost help to, to, to buy her first, her, her new home. They did it with their, their mortgage partner who's, who's branded here with them. And they're telling their social media audience about that story. How many potential first time home buyers do you have listening to you, watching your content, following you on social, who, for whom that story might resonate? So we love that. Tell a success story. And honestly, we have our director of marketing in the background answering questions. Throw it in the, in the Q&A. If, if you have a story like that, and you know, we, you're willing to do a blog post with us or something and, and tell that story, even if we anonymize it for your client, uh, we'd love to hear a story like that from one of you. you know, here's what I did recently. Here's what we got them. Here's a hiccup we, we encountered and here's how we solved it. We love those stories. We'd love to write one of those up. Um, so I, I, I seriously encourage you, if you've got a story like that or a recent DPA closing and you want a little PR and you would let us write it up, Please throw that in the, the Q&A. Uh, Melinda Mel is our director of marketing. She's in the background answering questions here and um, we'll hear from her in, in Q&A. So love that. Give a testimonial. Tell other buyers what you did for their peer, their home buying peer. Uh, sticking with video here for a moment. We, we showed an example earlier. Uh, these are, this is a, a, the same team in Twin Cities that we just looked at. All of these videos that you see, the main one, and then on the right side, the kind of list of videos, they're all one minute long. This also harkens back to what we saw from Raul with his drip campaign, asking and answering questions. These are, again, questions they're posing in short videos that a lot of buyers don't know to ask. Do, do, how many first-time home buyers know how long a pre-approval is good for? Or how essential is a credit score? or you know, what to expect in terms of credit and credit score, how to get rid of mortgage insurance. These are things a first time home buyer generally is not gonna come into the, the dialogue knowing and understanding. The main video here on the screen, how to find a lender that offers down payment assistance. What you saw in that testimonial example I just showed you was that they're branding all this with their lending partner. That's a real estate agent that has business from first time home buyers and is directing them to a lender they know and trust. So I'm gonna pause here and say, Loan officers, 
if you are not telling real estate agents about the DPA programs you offer, you're missing out on business. They've got first time home buyers. They're trying to help and trying to figure out a path to home ownership for, and they need a loan officer that can close, that can offer DPAs, that knows the rules, that, that does well with these programs and wants that business. So LOs, you got to get out there and tell realtor partners that you offer these programs. Real estate agents, we'll talk later about how to find those loan officers. Now, a couple more examples, and then I want to show you some stuff live here, because there's more to some of these, these examples than what I can capture in a screenshot, like this one. This is a team in Seattle under advice for buyers on their website. They have created a down payment assistance page where again, they add uh, educational content about down payment assistance programs. And then actually at the bottom of this page, which I'll show you live here shortly, they've added the down payment connect search form. So another great way of offering education. This is also a great way or great place to drive social traffic to, to uh, drive, you know, if you've got an email campaign going out, put a blurb in there, right? Set the hook or offer the carrot and then drive them to a page like this where they can continue their education, come to realize that you are a source of unique and, and helpful information for them that could change their mindset about their home ownership journey and expedite that journey for them. Now, ads. So we've talked a little bit about social, video, web, email signature. Let's talk about ads for a moment. Marilyn here is in Indianapolis. She used down payment assistance to run Facebook ads successfully. Two sentences. Many first time home buyers qualify for down payment money. See if you qualify and let's get shopping for your new home. She had great success with those ads. Used the ad to drive them to down payment connect, maximized her down payment connect landing page, got good responsive leads. And so we encourage you to, again, think outside the box. Maybe you're just you know, boosting a post. Uh, we'll look at Instagram here next. Um, you know, maybe you're just offering a post and engaging with your social audience, pose a question. Doesn't have to be complicated, right? We've seen great examples of web pages with all kinds of educational content, but this is an example of just putting two sentences out there, compelling people to learn more, and offering that down payment connect search experience to let them find the actual programs available where and when that buyer wants to buy a home. Now, I'll wrap the, the screenshots up with Instagram. I've got two examples here for you. Throw some down payment connect content out there. Whatever social platform it is, let your consumer followers, your, your aspiring home buyer audience know that you don't need 20% down. You don't have to keep renewing leases and renting. You, can, you, you have options here that can provide down payment assistance and let them know what that is. Um, so you see, and here's a loan officer in California. So, uh, are you looking to buy a home, but worried that you don't have the down payment saved with our down payment connect tool? Essentially, you can search for all the local county city and other programs out there. Do a search of your own today on my website and find out how easy it is to own a home. That's a great post, right? It's short. It's simple. It's telling first time home buyers something they didn't know existed and offering them the tool that's going to show them the programs that are out there, the actual solutions. So those were some, some introductory ideas. I do want to show you some of these live. So I'm actually going to hop out of the slides. Let's go to the web. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you this because this is Brian's uh, Down Payment Connect page. This was the first example we looked at. But what I want to illustrate is when you see the, the click here call to action or even the graphic on the left, just so we're clear, what happens is you're just giving them a link to your down payment connect page. That's all I've done here, right? So now I'm on Brian's down payment connect page. He's in Atlanta. So I'm going to do my search here. I'm going to say, I don't have an address in mind. I'm too early stage for that, but I know I want to live in the city of Atlanta. All right, well, there's 16 programs, or maybe they go on to say, uh, well, you know what? I currently own a home. I'm not, a, I'm not even a first-time home buyer. Well, that's fine. Not all programs are just for first-time home buyers. There's still nine programs. Or maybe they say, uh, I served in the military. Okay, well, guess what? There's 
there's seven more programs, right? So the count can go up or down based on what that buyer tells us about their household or their profession, their military service, their income, their home ownership history. And then when the consumer goes on to the next step, we're gonna tell them how many programs are out there and they're gonna fill out this form and that's gonna email Brian and say, hey, Brian, Sean was just on your down payment connect page. He searched in Atlanta for down payment help and he submitted this form, he wants to talk. That's the lead, right? So this is a lead generation tool. The consumer never saw the names of those programs. We certainly didn't give them details about those programs because the goal of Down Payment Connect is quite literally to connect that aspiring home buyer to you in the context or through the lens of down payment assistance. So they fill out this form, they submit it, and that emails you a lead. Only then will we also email the consumer with a text-only list of the programs they found in their search. We're not gonna give them links, we're gonna give them the list of the program names and your contact information so they can continue their, their home ownership journey. All right, so uh, let's continue on here. Another example, I, show, I showed you a screenshot of Susan's uh, webpage, she's in Atlanta. Down payment assistance page, she's, you go search the pay, or search down payment connect, type my information in, it's all gonna happen right here on the page. The point is we're not leaving her website. So she didn't link out to another, another page or tab. She just used an iframe here and she embedded the, the down payment connect search into her own website. I showed you a screenshot of this. This is the team in Seattle. Under advice for buyers, they have a page called down payment assistance. On this page, I, I couldn't capture all of it, but there's a lot of educational content. And again, this is, this, is, um, this is great to drive people to from a social campaign or an email campaign or some sort of flyer. You know, give, them, give them a link or link them to this page where they can continue their education after you set the hook elsewhere. Uh, just one example, right? And, and that's the goal here is to show you ways that your peers all over the country are using Down Payment Connect and are broadcasting down payment assistance to aspiring home buyers. So this page goes on to talk more and more about down payment assistance programs, who qualifies, what's DPA, so on and so forth. And then they did the same thing as Susan in the last example. They just embedded the form right here in their page. Anything I do here is only going to Gerhardt. It's Gerhardt's down payment connect page. All right. Uh, Richmond. So similar to that last example, this team in Richmond, uh, we saw a screenshot earlier has a page under guide to buying a home dedicated to down payment assistance. On that page, they have a self-produced video, great video, followed by educational content, a lot of information about down payment assistance programs. Now they've got, you know, you can do a search here, you can, you can contact them on their website, but sometimes it's offering that little nugget, that, that little bit of assistance that they didn't know about or that changes the, their view of home ownership possibilities like down payment assistance, sometimes that's what's going to engage them and get them to reach back out to you or to respond to your message, <clears throat> whether it's a post or an email or a phone call or a, a blog post or whatever. So anyway, this page goes on to talk about down payment assistance. You can see there's a link here that, that takes me to their down payment connect page there's another link in the text here we scroll on down we learn more uh homeownership history my profession there's another graphic that's also a link to their down payment connect page and you know what it could just be a cool graphic with a link like we saw with brian the first example uh just you know put a graphic on the page let them know down payment help is out there link it to your down payment connect page so anyway they go on to talk more and more Bottom line on that page, down payment assistance criteria can vary. So investigate your options for your situation. And they give them the chance to do that several times throughout this website, this web page. All right, now I'm gonna dial back to a super simple example. What if you just wanna provide a link? You gotta start somewhere, right? Well, here's a team in Florida under buy on their website. So this is just their site navigation. I go to buy, I go to down payment assistance. And here, I'm gonna click it. It's gonna open up their down payment connect page. So uh, question is, you know, if you, if you want something simple to get started, then just do that, add it to your site navigation. 
And then there we go. I'm on Brad's down payment connect page. Anything I do goes to Brad, right? And all I did was just click the, the uh, navigation menu item on his website by down payment assistance. Super simple. If you run your site or whoever runs your site for you, that's, that's probably the simplest way that, or just a graphic on the page, probably the simplest way to get started, but at least offer that path. All right, a couple more. So uh, do you have a blog? If you have a blog, you are forever trying to come up with content to talk about. We've given you a ton today. You can break down payment assistance programs down into any number of blog posts. We have a blog, you can repurpose that. Uh, we'll give you some links to these resources here shortly. And as part of our follow-up today, but here's a blog about getting down payment assistance help. So we've got a few graphics here. They use our graphics packages. I can see in the chat, there's some questions about Spanish and flyers. I'll show you our marketing resources because it offers a lot of these graphics and other things that you're seeing here. So this, this one's actually a link to, uh, this is Chaz, but Chaz's down payment connect page. And then, so there's some graphics, right? And then the post, down payment money is out there. Let's find it. What is down payment assistance? Pretty short, right? That's it. Then there's the video. And now there's the call to action. Here's a simple process. Love this. Step one, click on my down payment connect button, right? And it's right here at the bottom. Step two, enter your household info. Step three, you're going to get results. See what you're eligible for. Step four, call me back. We're going to talk through this and we're going to get you going where you need to go, including pairing you with the best lenders who are experts with these programs. So again, Find a, lender, a loan officer or a lender that you know and trust works well with DPAs and wants that business from you if you're a real estate agent. And loan officers, again, you're seeing examples here of real estate agents pairing up with uh, loan officers and, and marketing and working together. That's lead flow both ways. And I'm telling you, the most common question we get is from real estate agents, how do I find a loan officer that can help me with these programs? You've got to be out there telling realtors that you offer these programs. And, and you need to know which ones you offer too. All right, so I'll wrap it up with Facebook. Here's uh, Shana in Detroit. Simple post, right? Down payment money's out there. Let's find it. Use my down payment connect page. Here's my link. That's it, right? Loaded with a graphic. That's the post. Doesn't have to be super long. Doesn't, you know, that's just the, that's the carrot, right? That's the nugget. Put it out there. Let them know these programs are there. Give them a path to find what's, what's available for them. And then another even super simpler one, things to know if you're buying. They just posted one of our, our blog posts for home buyers. Seven things you should know when you're looking to buy a home, um, particularly around down payment assistance. So that covers uh, all the examples I wanted to show live. Let's wrap up a few more things here, give you a few more resources, and uh, then we'll get into Q&A. So, whoops. Um, all of this was to help you start more conversations. All of this was to show you how to get Down Payment Connect, whether you have it for free or you wanna subscribe. I'll, I'll cover that again in just a moment, show you where to go. Um, I didn't, actually, sorry, one more thing. I did wanna show you the marketing resources page. So you can get to this uh, from your MLS dashboard, go to down payment resource and you can get here or we'll post the URL. In fact, Mel, if maybe you can put the URL in the chat. Um, what you have here are graphics, all kinds of graphics. You've seen these, you saw some of these social media graphics for various formats. Uh, I'll zoom in here. So you saw a lot of these in you know, blog posts, web pages as we were going. All of these are here for you to use. We encourage you to use these in your, your social, web, email, uh, anything that, that you wanna do with, with down payment assistance. And flyers, I've already seen some questions here. We, yes, we offer flyers. There are all kinds of options to choose from. The bottom right quadrant of all of these, they, this is just downloads to Word, right? And then you can edit the bottom right, contact info, your down payment connect link, a short URL, your, your your logo, your headshot, whatever you want to put there, use them online, use them as, you know, handouts. And then we do have Spanish language options as well. So we've got some Spanish flyers for you. Then we have video tutorials. We have a realtor Facebook group I'm going to talk about shortly, links to reports, and there's a social media training module in here. Sorry for the scrolling, but as you can see, we offer you a lot to get you started and to keep you going. Uh, the social media training module 
talks about using Down Payment Connect on, on specific social media platforms and how to kind of optimize the experience. So I wanted to show you that real quick. And again, back to uh, what I was saying, preceding that, all of this is to help you start more conversations. So I'm not going to read the list here. You'll get the deck and the recording afterwards. But these are some of the examples we just went through. Be creative. Have fun. You know, it, it can be super simple. We looked at some very simple, good ways to get started. And we looked at some, some thoughtful, provocative, creative examples of, you know, long-form education and, and going a little bit deeper and trying harder to help buyers. Either way, get the opportunity out there for buyers to search for down payment help. Leverage the experts. So here we are again, real estate agents. We know that you're looking for participating lenders, lenders that offer these programs, develop partnerships with them. This is where I'm going to give you a few outlets. Loan officers, this is what we're telling realtors who ask the question because they don't have a partner like you who's telling them about the DPA programs they offer. So real estate agents, talk to your existing lending partners. Maybe the idea of down payment assistance just hasn't come up with them. You didn't have a client who needed it, so the conversation never arose. But they may offer some of these programs and you just didn't know. So talk to your existing lender partners. Talk to your broker and your peers. Do they have a loan officer that they know and trust that works with down payment assistance programs? Maybe you get a referral that way super quick within your network. Call the program provider. A great place to start is your state housing finance agency. They all list their participating lenders on their website. Those are generally easy links to find. We also provide them uh, at Down Payment Resource, whether that's on our website, through your MLS partnership, or Down Payment Connect. But talk to the state housing finance agency, check their website, call them, ask them who, they're, you know, who a good lender is that does volume and does it well in your, your part of the market. And they often will list or rank top producers within, with their program within their state. So look for that too. Um, so those are some ways that you can go find participating lenders and you can find them on downpaymentresource.com. If you just do a search, find a program, first thing we give you is who are the participating lenders. If you're a member of one of our MLS partners, click the down payment button on an eligible listing. And when you see the list of programs, click on, on the details of any one of those programs. And the first thing, again, we tell you is who the participating lenders are. So lenders, if you're not telling real estate agents that you offer DPA, you're missing out on business, to, to be honestly, to just be frank. Um, other experts, the DPA providers, lean on the DPA providers. They may have marketing content for you. They may have events you can attend or networking opportunities or classes you can teach or training. Uh, so lean on the DPA providers, call them for, for lender referrals, but also see what kind of events and collateral and so forth and training that they have available for you. Highlight information about some, some of your market's DPA programs in your marketing content. Uh, and again, your DPA providers could potentially help you do that. But um, you know, find one or two programs that would work well for your clients in your market confer with your loan officer or the DPA provider, learn a little bit about that program, and then talk specifically about that program. That's a great marketing angle as well. And lastly, if you get the chance and you're willing, attend one of those home buyer education classes. Maybe do it with one of your clients. They would probably think it was really cool you going out of the way and, and over and above, but you will also hear the message, the educational content being provided to aspiring home buyers and future home owners, and you can absorb that messaging and that content and incorporate that into your marketing. We have a Facebook group called Down Payment Insiders. Great place to network. I'm seeing in chat, people are reaching out, asking for uh, referrals. I'm a realtor, I need a loan officer. Hey, I'm a loan officer, here's where I do business. Keep that up in the chat, but going forward, you know, this webinar is gonna end here in 10 minutes. Join us uh, on the Down Payment Insiders on Facebook. The URL is on the bottom of the page here, and we will send a link to this group out after the webinar with the recording and the deck. But this, this is a group of about 10,000 real estate agents and loan officers and some DPA providers and homeownership counselors and others uh, around the country that are networking, connecting with each other to do business, um, taking care of their first-time homebuyer clients, but also 
telling stories about the clients they've worked with, the challenges they face, the, the obstacles and hiccups that they had to get over, the solutions they came up with, mark, creative marketing ideas, marketing successes, messages that did or did not work. There's all kinds of cool stuff going on in the Down Payment Insiders. We include, we, I'm sorry, we, we encourage you to join the Down Payment Insiders and network, learn, share, educate, con contribute, or just listen in, right? But anyway, uh, check that out, facebook.com slash groups slash Down Payment Insiders. That's the, the Facebook group. All right, I'll leave you with a couple of testimonials and then we'll, we'll walk back through real quick just how to get Down Payment uh, Connect. So Amber at the top here was new to the business, trying to work with first time home buyers, many of whom obviously, as we can imagine, didn't have a lot saved up for a down payment. Other agents weren't giving them the attention and education they needed. So she took it upon herself to connect with loan officers that worked with these programs and learn some of these programs herself and has built her business, letting consumers know, letting first time home buyers know they don't need 20% down, showing them the path to down payment assistance and closing with, with loan officers that she trusts do these loans well. Great way to build the business. And we have examples like that all over the country. Raul, we actually saw some of his examples uh, at the bottom here. He started out working with veterans uh, in the real estate industry after the military, was looking for ways to teach them, trying to find better ways to help them navigate the process more efficiently. And as you saw, down payment assistance and the Down Payment Connect tool became a part of that. So here are our MLS partners. So one last time, take a look at the list here. If your MLS is on this list, you already have Down Payment Connect for free. To get it, go to your MLS dashboard, uh, click on the Down Payment Resource button, <coughs> excuse me, on your MLS dashboard, and your Down Payment Connect button and marketing resources are waiting for you there. If you are not a member of one of those MLSs, then whether you're a real estate agent or a loan officer, you can go to downpaymentresource.com slash DPC and subscribe for $24 a month if you're a real estate agent or loan officers, or if you wanna to upgrade to the loan officer version, $39 a month, that is per state, but most of you are probably just licensed in one state anyway. Uh, but you can, you can subscribe to Down Payment Connect, pay as you go, no contract, no term, uh, just you know, pay as you go, cancel if you don't like it, if it doesn't work for you. But downpaymentresource.com slash DPC, you will get your own page where consumers can come to a search, you generate leads, they're exclusive to you, it's backed up by marketing resources, social media training module, um, and if you're a, a, a loan officer or you subscribe to the loan officer version, you get a directory of all the programs and their details in your market, plus a back office eligibility lookup, or you might call it a scenario tool. So that's how you get it. That's the end. We're gonna get into Q&A here. I see a lot of questions and activity in there. If you have further questions after this webinar, we will send out the recording, the deck, some links and additional resources, but you can always reach out to us at info at downpaymentresource.com. And you can subscribe again to Down Payment Connect at downpaymentresource.com slash DPC. So with that, I'm going to lean on my team here. Um, Mel, Tracy, Will, what's going on in Q&A? What, what do we need to address first? Mel, we'll start with you. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Um, holy networking in chat. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's been amazing. And, and I just will remind everyone, a lot of that happens in our Facebook group. I've provided that link in chat and I'll do it again here before we're done. But um, definitely continue it in the Facebook group. We love to see it. Like Sean said, our number one question from realtors is how do I find a loan officer that does DPA? So uh, we definitely want to encourage that. And as far as questions, Sean, something I've seen uh, repeatedly today is, are these programs only for first time home buyers? Are they only for um, and lower price properties, et cetera, and low income buyers. So I just didn't know if you maybe wanted to touch on that. Yeah, no and no and no. And here's why. 38% of all homeownership programs do not have a first time home buyer requirement. So there are a lot of opportunities out there, even for repeat buyers or current owners. 
Also, another thing we didn't address today, but we address in our kind of program breakdown webinar, uh, it's called DPA 101. But uh, the definition of a first time home buyer when it comes to down payment assistance is someone who has not owned a home in the most recent three years or been on title to it. There's even some exceptions to that. So if they haven't owned a home in the last three years, they're a first time home buyer anyway. If they do now or recently owned a home within the last three years, there may still be plenty of programs for them. So that addresses the, the, first, the first time home buyer requirement. As far as, you know, are these for low income households, low price properties, these, these programs all vary, right? The, their, their funding source can change the nature of the program, how it's funded determines their flexibility on income limits, purchase price limits, repayment terms, home ownership history, and so on. But we see income limits commonly up to 120% of area median income or 140%, 160% of area median income. So when I mentioned very early on in the webinar, a lot of these programs are market adjusted. Obviously the purchase price limits and income limits for a program in Southern California are gonna be much higher than in Birmingham, Alabama, for example. But um, they also may have income and purchase price limits that exceed or far exceed the median incomes in that market. And how many first time home buyers exceed the median income in a market, right? I mean, often they're younger, they're, they're early in their, their work or career, and trying to save money. So anyway, um, that was a rather long answer. Let's try to get to a few more questions, but hopefully that helps. I think Sean, I'll ask one more. Um, I, I marked it as a question I'd like to answer live in the Q and A, and I think Will has done that um, to a couple as well, if you wanna start there. But um, Myrna's question about whether or not loan officers, or she has loan officers in the area that don't believe in DPA and don't offer, and just wondering why I've seen that question quite a bit too. Yeah, Myrna, that's a great question. I would love to see loan officers chime in here. You know, if you see that amongst your peers, what's your opinion of that? But here's our take. So first of all, if you if you have loan officer partners that don't believe in DPA or don't want to offer those programs, fine. Maybe you go to them for a jumbo deal or, you know, I, I don't know, the, you know, standard 20% down or whatever. But obviously you're not going to go to them for DPA transactions. I'll say this, in, in defense of some lenders and loan officers, the lender has to choose, the institution, right, the enterprise, the lender, the company has to choose which programs they participate in. And that involves a lot, right? They have a product development department and a secondary marketing department that has to deal with all this and training has to train LOs. So we know that not every lender participates in DPAs. We also know that any lender that does probably doesn't participate in every program available in their market. So lenders determine their appetite for DPA, and that's, that's what a given loan officer has access to. So sometimes it could be the lender, the, the enterprise, the company that doesn't offer or doesn't offer much in the way of down payment assistance. And so the loan officer is, is bound by that constraint, right? Now, some loan officers, sure, that's their personal opinion. They're, that's fine. They're entitled to it. They don't believe in DPA. They don't want to offer it they're not going to get your first time home buyer business. I mean, that's the long and short of it, right? So um, as to why they don't believe in DPA or don't want to offer those programs, maybe they find it too difficult, too cumbersome. They don't want to get outside their box. Uh, they've already got a steady stream of referrals. They've built up. There could be any number of reasons, right? So Myrna, I hope that helps. Um, now I would just encourage you to, to talk to some of the DPA providers and ask them who their best lenders are and, at least your DPA business, your first time home buyer business will probably go to that loan officer. Uh, Will, what about you? It's, you marked some things you wanted to answer live here. Hey, Sean, yeah. Um, so uh, kind of a, a, a follow-up question to, to almost the um, how to approach, right, this market. Um, how can one compete with DPA or grants in this market? And they uh, mentioned that there's a shortage of inventory, increasing prices, um, referring to wages. So what are, what, what are some strategies, I guess, that, that they could possibly put into place? Yeah, I think one thing we'll send out as a follow-up to this is a link to our education page where we, we post our upcoming webinars. We have a webinar that, with a little snark, we call Those Darn DPAs, that we built to address precisely this question, but in more detail. 
So to, to pull a few gems from that webinar, you're right, sellers, and, and I think really it's the listing agent representing the seller is looking for certainty and is apprehensive that DPAs might provide that. We think that's what that's where the, the aversion to DPA comes from on the part of the sellers, meaning that's why they're, they're, they're not keen to accept an offer with a down payment assistance program or maybe even FHA financing. Now that trend got pretty bad in the last 18 months. We all know that, right? But maybe that's starting to, uh, starting to change a little bit now. We'll see. I, I, I won't even try to predict next week, much less two or three months from now. But some of the things you can do are, first of all, again, work with a loan officer that knows these programs because we have seen for the last year and a half loan officers telling us, you know what I do? I get on the phone as the loan officer and I tell that listing agent, hey, I do this program all the time. I know this program. We made you an offer to close in 25 days. We're closing in 25 days. That's what I do. I do these all day long. We've seen loan officers all over the country for the last year say, you know what? That, that's my client too. I'm going to call the seller. I'm going to call the listing agent and I'm just going to let them know, hey, you know, we got a deal here. I know this DPA. I understand the requirements, the timeline to have a relationship with the DPA provider. I'll get it done. So that, that is all to say, work with a loan officer, you know, and trust who does these programs well. Um, frame it appropriately. You know, if the down payment program allows you to cover closing costs, make sure the seller knows, and obviously they would, but that you don't, you're not asking for closing costs, right? And there are some other things that you can do too. But I think a lot of the apprehension about, you know, accepting an offer with a DPA really is the listing agent in the ear of the seller. And I'm not putting them down, right? I'm just saying that's, that's where it comes from. Most sellers don't know what that means, right? Just as most buyers don't know what down payment assistance means. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, Will, you got one or two more that you want to address? And we'll keep going here for a few minutes because we got a ton of people and still got questions coming in. Yes. Uh, one that uh, we see often, uh, doesn't DPA carry a higher interest rate, which in turn would cause the borrower to have a higher monthly mortgage payment? Good question. So there are many ways of funding a down payment assistance program. Some some you know, municipalities or nonprofits get money from HUD. Uh, your state housing finance agency leverages bond or TBA funding. Um, then there are, you know, it's a federal home loan bank network funding DPA through their, their member banks. There are a lot of different ways that an agency or a municipality or nonprofit might fund a down payment assistance program. One of those ways is your state and local housing finance agencies might leverage the secondary market to um, increase a rate slightly and offer down payment assistance. Now, that doesn't mean you're paying an extra three points in rate. Maybe it's a quarter or you know half a point. I realize that can make a big difference. Here's the thing though. Was that buyer going to renew a lease if they didn't have that down payment help? That's the question that often gets overlooked. If they didn't have the down payment help, they probably just went and renewed the lease. But the down payment assistance is what gets them the opportunity to get into a home, despite maybe a slight increase in rate. However, just remember that is only one way to fund a program, and it only represents a fraction of all the DPAs out there. So it is absolutely not the case that all DPAs impact rate. Many of them are disassociated with the rate entirely. And another way of funding DPAs is through bond programs. So if you've heard the, the term bond program, really that refers to maybe half of what your state housing finance agency offers. Those programs can offer below market interest rates on the first mortgage because they're leveraging bond financing. Now, all this again, depends on market volatility with interest rates and so forth, but hopefully that helps, gives you a little more insight into how programs are funded. One implication being interest rate, but that does not represent all DPAs. Uh, Will, one more, and then let's let's ask Tracy. Sure. So let me see here. This one is actually kind of getting into uh, some of our marketing. Somebody asked if they're allowed to repost any of the blog posts or if they need to link back to our website. That's a great question, but Mel, I'm going to let you answer that. 
Yeah, that is a good question. So you can absolutely repurpose our content, but we do ask that you link back to our site. So I know there are some fantastic companies out there like um, Keeping Current Matters that allow you to use their content and brand it as your own. Um, we would prefer you to link back to our site. So, but feel free to share our content. Feel free to share links to our blog posts. Feel free to share any information that you find on our site. And I do share um, any new posts, any new news we have in the Facebook group as well, um, home buyer content, et cetera. So I do provide some stuff in there for you guys to share. So long answer to that question, but yes, please do link back to us if you do share our content. Yeah, I just want to point out, James, Latanya in the chat, um, confused minds say no all the time. That That is a great point, Latanya. That's worth pointing out. You know, some people have aversions to this to this stuff. Um, they aren't your partners. I mean, I, I guess, <laughs> is there any other way to put it? Um, Tracy, what do you want to pull out here and answer? We'll, we'll go a couple more questions, and then I'll kind of rapid fire through anything that's left, I guess. Hey, John. Um, I had... Um a question that I thought would be a good thing for you to address. Someone had asked about how um, they set up the Down Payment Connect page, and I thought it would be good for you to just relay how easy that is. So the the, the consumer page is already there for you. Um, if you're an MLS partner or you subscribe, the page itself that the consumer is going to go to is set up. It, so a couple caveats, though. If you're a loan officer and you subscribe, the consumer is not going to see any programs until you use the directory feature in your subscription to, to find and check off all the programs you offer. Realtors, you don't have to do that. But loan officers, we know that you're, you're bound by what your company offers. So uh, that's part of the setup for a loan officer. And there are notifications when you log in after you subscribe that tell you what to do. Uh, as far as setting it up, if you mean like from a marketing perspective, really it's not you know if you want to set it up on your website we showed you a bunch of examples if, if you want something simple add a down payment assistance link to your site navigation so you might have buy sell about you know contact whatever add one more option to your website navigation that just says down payment help or down payment assistance and just make that a link to your down payment connect page that's like the simplest way or add a graphic, we give you plenty, to your home page or some page on your website and just link that graphic to your Down Payment Connect page. Those are two super simple ways on social media. Come up with one or two or three sentences and post that, you know, a compelling, you know, incentivizing message, marketing message to get them to click your Down Payment Connect button. Uh, those are some examples. Uh, otherwise, I would encourage you to, we'll send you the recording to this video and just kind of Rewatch and, and listen to and, and look at some of the examples we talked through, and that'll give you some more creative uh, ideas. What else, Tracy? Um, I had uh, Steve had asked, are these for Fannie um, and Freddie approved properties only? Um, well, Fannie and Freddie, I guess in a way, approved properties, but I, I think the answer is no. I mean, you can use, you can use, let me rephrase. Most down payment assistance programs will allow conventional or government financing. Now, some programs are a little unique or something, and we, we tell you what those requirements are um, in our across our platform. But I mean, you can you can go get an FHA loan and use down payment assistance. Absolutely. Now, if that was from a loan officer, maybe the question was, you know, do do we know if each DPA program is Fannie approved or Freddie approved or HUD approved? Uh, we give the lender most of the details they need to make that determination, but we don't make it ourselves. Uh, I don't know if that answer helped. I probably need a little more context. But anyway, I hope that was a start to a helpful answer. Um, all right, so I see, I see one more, and I'll answer this. So got a first time, got a, got a first buyer, I guess first time home buyer who went on, I'm assuming down payment connect, your down payment connect page and did not qualify. Okay, I think I think the question is this buyer went to get pre-approved with a lender. It didn't qualify due to credit score, no score or low score. How can we fix that? Down payment assistance can't fix credit. That's got to be done through, I would, I would hope, you know, a HUD certified housing counseling agency who's going to walk them through the tools they need 
and provide walk them through the 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 support they need and provide the tools they need to help improve their credit. Um, hopefully, this is a good point. You have kind of incubation partners when that situation arises. Who are you sending these buyers to? I mean, maybe in three months they're credit ready, right? But you don't want to lose the deal. So who are your incubation partners that you work with to help those on the cusp get ready for future purchase? Uh, I would also add too that when we think about what a down payment assistance program can address, we could definitely help with cash to close and down payment, right? A down payment assistance program can also help with qualifying ratios. If you're tight or borderline with qualifying ratios as a potential buyer and your lender brings up, well, hey, what about, you know, what if we had, you know, 10 or 15 or 30 or however many thousand dollars in down payment assistance? Well, that's going to help reduce the qualifying ratios, right? So rate, we talk to lenders about this all the time. Cash to close and ratios, those are not reasons for declination on their own without looking at down payment assistance because we can address both. Um, if you're not getting the, the you know, AUS findings that you're looking for, look at down payment assistance, maybe lowering ratios, um, adding some cash into the transaction helps. Uh, let's see, Steve asked, is there a max percent of assistance or max dollar amount of assistance? For example, buying a condo that is not Fannie or Freddie approved needs 10%, but buyer only has three. So buying a condo that is not Fannie or Freddie approved probably wouldn't work with down payment assistance either because uh, the, the first mortgage would require, a standard agency first mortgage would require approval. Uh, that's an interesting scenario, Steve. The, basically the crux of your question is, is there a maximum percent or dollar of assistance? That's gonna vary widely and wildly by market. So there are programs in Orange County, California that will give you tens of thousands of dollars in down payment assistance. But the average price is like a million dollars, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but obviously it's not 200,000. Whereas, you know, in, in, I don't know, Lansing, Michigan or, or you know, greater Atlanta, you know, you might be able to get a decent house for 250, 300,000, maybe even less. But you know, you down payment assistance amounts are going to be five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. So generally as a percent, you know, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, that's kind of the range as a dollar amount. It really just depends on the market, but up to tens of thousands of dollars. And there are programs in the Bay Area and California that offer a couple hundred thousand dollars. So again, depends on the market. Um, Felix asked, can DPA use be used to buy down an interest rate? Uh, potentially. There are some programs that will allow that. It's probably less common. I wouldn't call it a norm. I would call it an outlier, but that is a potential use of funds for some down payment assistance programs. So I think we're going to have to cut it off here and we apologize. We're, we're almost 15 minutes over. Um, I'm going to defer back to the screen here. I'll show you a couple things to wrap this up. So we still have a big audience here. If you are a member of one of these MLSs, if you see your MLS on the screen, you have Down Payment Connect for free. We encourage you to go grab it, use it, uh, get creative with it based on the examples you've seen here and let us know what you come up with. We would love to see uh, some new examples added to this, this list. So go grab that, go to your MLS dashboard, find the Down Payment Resource button on your MLS dashboard, and that will open up your Down Payment Resource dashboard where you have your Down Payment Connect tool waiting for you. If you are not a member of one of those MLSs and you would like to subscribe to Down Payment Resource, here is the URL, downpaymentresource.com slash DPC. If you have any questions after the webinar, reach out to us at info at downpaymentresource.com. Thank you all for joining. We appreciate the big audience, the interactivity, the questions, the comments, the chat. And I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got some good networking out of it. Go join the Down Payment Insiders on Facebook and continue that networking there. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. We will talk to you soon.